know why, but I always forget what it's called. The Pacanom. Pacanom. Seconds out for round one. There's traditional belt worn in Isan. It's uh, used as a handkerchief, as a belt. As an everything. Basically everything. In Just one minute left here in this opening round. Don't get a break for a tape of the groin. Actually a legal move because it's 100% defendable. And there, I feel like, oh, good body shots. And Gavin trying to shrug it off, but. Oh, nice bit of handicraft between both boxers. I think they've both forgotten they've got legs. Until yep. I just got called a liar. <laughs> And good leg kick there from Gavin as well. Ooh, powerful left body kick there from Martin. Again, blasting in that left body kick. Ooh. Leg kick for leg kick. Both boys are going to be sore tomorrow. Yeah, I like some of these push kicks that Gavin is throwing. Yeah. Just disrupting the timing of Martin. End of a round one. For round two. So here we go into the second round of action. We have just a few more fights. One more fight before our main card, the Rebellion 28. Nice leg kick there from Gavin. Yeah, good length on it too, staying out of punching range. You know, Gavin definitely has Martin in the reach department, but I feel like he wants to bang a bit. Martin used that, using that leg kick into hands is a great idea to move forward. He needs to string more than just two together, though. 
Yeah, sometimes fighters, when they are on a bit of a skid, can act a bit desperate. Yes. And that might be what Martin is doing here. You just so desperately want the win, desperately want the blows to land, you risk a bit too much. Ooh, nice leg kick to finish off that exchange from Martin. Big shots from both boys. Ooh. Both boys happy to bang here. Yep. I did I did say to you before we got on air here that uh, I think this was going to be a bit of a ripper, and it seems to me so far. Oof. Big heavy shots from both boys. Both boys happy to throw them too. Nice body shot there from Martin. Exactly what Martin needs to be doing though, keeping him on the ropes and just throwing heavy shots continually. Yeah, and there we go, uh, targeting that lead leg, which is damaged already. Beautiful. He's doing really nice there. He's landing some body kicks, going to high, going low. Yeah, just needs to step in a little bit, and there he steps in with that right hand. Oh, where's a big one for his trouble there? Nice sway back there from Martin. Oh, good leg kick there from Martin. Gavin quite smart when he lands that clean shot. He, he makes sure he moves off out of the way of the, being the reply, being the target of the reply, I should say. Just 30 seconds left here. A little bit of an unorthodox kick there from Gavin. Nice leg kick there from the blue corner. Oh, powerful leg kick, but Martin coming in heavy yeah. with the hands. One of the best rounds I've actually seen from Martin. Oh, nice smart elbows there from Gavin. Yeah, it's quite tricky. He's got some, some awkward timing on his yeah. shots. End of round two. Lapberg's betting is now available. Go Be very interesting to see how this third and final round plays out. I feel like it could swing either way. Yeah, for sure. There's a bit of that dog fight you were talking about. And it's pretty much what it needs to be, I think, from, from Martin's point of view to get the win. He needs to just show that he's the hungrier guy. Yeah, I think he should work on that lead leg more. Yeah, hands, in, hands into the feet, the, the sit one chai style. Mm. Yeah, another award that is going to be giving out is a Moima or Anua Award for fighters with big hands, big punches, like the legendary Iron Hands of Siam, Anua Kao Samrit. Kao Samrit. <laughs> oh, nice left body kick yeah. there from Martin. Good timing with it. It, it'll pay a little bit for him to react with that left body kick as well. When Gavin steps in for him to throw that left body kick up. Is that left leg hurting now, Gavin? Yeah, Martin, Gavin has also landed some leg kicks of his own. Yes, he has. But you see there that inside front leg collapsing inward. Yeah. Sign of damage for sure. Yeah, shying away from both of them. 
But when you do damage someone, you have to really go for the kill. You do, you do. Even if you, you throw a couple more to make them think that's the only thing that's coming, yep. and then you change it up. And I feel like that is not something Martin or Gavin is really doing no, right not, now. No, they're not, no. They're sort of sticking to their original yep. game plan of punching on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, making it a little bit of a dogfight. I'd like to see them growl a bit more, maybe inject some rabies in. Just really go after it. Because a bit of a snarl on each shot. Yeah. Snarl, just bite down on each other more. Froth at the mouth. Yeah. That's what, you know, fighters like Liam Harrison do just that. When, when they, they get hungry at the right time and go for it. Yeah, they fight like they're on rabies. Yeah. There is a great two shots there from Martin. He needs to go for it here. Yeah, he he needs to grab this fight with, you know, all of his teeth. Last 20 seconds here. Be interesting to see how this one goes in the eyes of the judges. Yeah, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a fun one to be scoring. Especially as Martin has backed off in the last 30, 40 seconds. Oh, yeah, Melbourne Pavilion, that's what I'm talking about. Martin Nguyen, Gavin Salmon. So we'll get to see some of the replays here in just a moment. Nice leg kick there from Gavin. Both of them, I think, missed a little bit of the openings, a little bit of the signs of damage in each other. Yeah, I think that still, you know, in the part of their career where they can't quite read the situation. Great offense from both of them, maybe lacking a little bit of defense. Yeah, always making it fun though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a massive round of applause. That is what I am talking about. What a fight. Gavin Salmon, Martin Nguyen. We have gone to the judges' scorecards after three action-packed rounds. They have come back with their unanimous points decision, declaring your winner, the red corner, Martin Nguyen.